blog, you're going to want to create a new page. So click on the piece of paper icon. I'm going to create a new page, and it's just going to be um, Google Quiz, or it's the Forms Quiz. I'm going to leave it as a web page, and I'm going to put it under Key Assignments. I should have choose a different location. Do I have a location for this? Key assignments. I'm going to put it under key assignments. Create. So once I'm in there, what you want to notice is there is a layout button. Right up here it says layout. And I want a two column simple layout. Because what this lets me do is to put no information side by side. Stuff on the left stuff on the right. And so what I want to put over here is I want to either put a text, um, some sort of a reading, a video. I'm just going to steal something off of YouTube. You don't have to make it yourself, although it is pretty easy to, to make an instructional video yourself. And so the idea here is that instead of you directly teaching the students things they could probably Google or just read out of a book, you're just going to put it on your website for them to access and then on the right this is your accountability piece. And I do that with a Google form. So I go up to the insert menu, I go insert, and if I scroll down here you'll see it says, now it says spreadsheet form, ignore the word spreadsheet, form, it has the word form in it. So be careful here, you want a form, it's way down here at the bottom by video, and then you're gonna find you're going to find the quiz that you made in your Google Forms. I'm way too zoomed in here. And I hit select. And that, I'm going to hit save. And that puts your form right in the page. Okay, so what over here though is I'm going to have some sort of a video. So if I just go to youtube.com, what am I going to teach? Maybe I'm teaching parabolas. <laughs> So I find the video, There's some. here's some dude teaching about parabolas, or I can watch an ad about some dude teaching about parabolas, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to copy the URL up at the top, and then in here I go insert, video, YouTube, I paste the video, and so I have the video, I'm going to hit save. So you'll notice is now I have side by side, I have the video side by side with the form. This doesn't look very good because I have the screen all zoomed in. Command zero, we'll put it back to, whoops, come here. Command zero. So you'll notice I have them side by side. This quiz has nothing to do with this video, but yours should. So what's wrong with mine is it's got the ID number, first name, last name, and email address up at the top. You actually want to put that at the bottom so that the first thing they see is the question they need to answer based on the video or the reading that you left for them to, to do. So it should just be straight up comprehension questions, just letting you know that they watched the video, that they did the reading. It shouldn't involve too much critical thinking, um, might have some reflection to it, um, but it's just basic low-level Bloom's taxonomy stuff, nothing uh, that they would really need your help or instruction with. So that just is the website piece.